state algorithm. Link state uses an algorithm called as Dijkstra's algorithm. And this is a global routing algorithm which means the least cost path is calculated with the global knowledge of the network. So let's start solving this. Uh, take an example of this graph. Say the source vertex is A. And these are the routers. And they are connected by such links with the cost written in blue. Uh, what we find out using link state is the least cost path from the source vertex to each of these vertices in the graph. So before we start solving, we have to know a few terminologies which is B of V and B of V. B of V is the distance of node B from source vertex as of this iteration. Say B of C would be the distance of node C from node A as of this iteration. Now what I mean by this iteration will be understood later once I start filling the table. Uh, P of V is nothing but the previous node of V in the current least cost path. Say the least cost path to vertex D through C is 2. So the previous node would be C in this case. Now let me start filling the table. And this is the formula what we use once we start filling the table. Now, write down the table like this as shown. Now, n dash is a set which has all the vertices. Initially, it has only the source vertex A. We go on adding all the vertices as and when we get to know the least cost path to that particular vertex. Now, we start with the source vertex A. Now, from A, you calculate the least cost path to all the other vertices. Now, check what are the vertices that are directly linked by the source vertex A. That now, from the diagram, we see that it is C, D, and B. E is not directly linked, so you write infinity in this case. D of E, that is the distance of E from A, is infinity as of now, as of this iteration. And the previous node, we don't calculate because there is no path at all. Now, the distance from A to B is 2 in this case. So you write down 2. And what is the previous node? From A to B, we're considering this is the this as the link. So the previous node is A itself. Similarly, the distance of C from A is 1. And the previous node is A. Now the distance of B from A is 3. You just consider the direct link. We know that there is a link here, but this will be calculated later. As of now, you just in the first step, we just check what are the vertices that are directly connected from the source vertex. So you write 3 and the previous node is 8. Now, in the next iteration, you have to consider that vertex which has the least cost path from the source vertex. So once we see, we can see that this is the vertex, that is the vertex C has the least cost path. So you add C to the subgroup. Now, from the vertex C, calculate the distance to the remaining vertices. Now, what are the remaining vertices? A and C are already included in the subset. So, B, D and E are the remaining vertices. Now, let's do the same thing again. Now, from C to B, from C to B, yes, there is a direct link. This is when we have to apply this formula. Now, in this case, what are we considering? We are considering the vertex B. So, V is B and W is C as we have considered C here. So now, this is when we apply this formula. What is from the table, we see what is the distance of node B from the source vertex A. So from the table, we see that 2 is the distance to the source. D of B is 2. So write 2. And what is D of W? W is C in this case as we have taken in C recently into the subset. So what is D of C in this? So it is 1. Plus C of W comma B. This is nothing but the cost of the link from W to B. That is the cost of the link from C to B. What is the cost? From C to B it is 2. So 1 plus 2. Now what is the minimum among 2 and Obviously, 2 is minimum, so you retain the same value. So you write 2, comma, A. Now, similarly, we repeat 2, 
the other two vertices as well. What's the other vertex now? The next vertex is B. So what is B here? B is B now and W is C. So D of distance of D is 3. So write 3. And what is the minimum? D of W. That will be the same of course. That is 1 plus distance between D and C. So D and C will be the link cost is 1. So in this case we have 3 comma 2. What is minimum? 2. So this is not the minimum. 3 comma 2. 2 is the minimum distance and we are going to D via C. So the previous node would be changed to C in this case which is 2 comma C. This will become the minimum distance to D from C and not the direct link that joins A and D. Now D of this will change. We have E. So what is according to the table? What is D of E? D of E is infinity. And what is D of W? That is 1 plus the distance from C to E. Is there a direct link from C to E? No, we don't have a direct link. So this would be infinity again. So this is because infinity and infinity, one and the same, to remain as this. Now among these, you have two values which are equal, which is 2 comma A and 2 comma C. You can consider any vertex of your choice. I will be considering 2 comma C, which is nothing but the least distance to D. So A, C and D. Again, we repeat the same steps. Uh, so we have B now. From D, you have to see the distance to B and E. So here we change this. Now W is B and V is B. Now see the distance from D to B. It is what is the distance of B? It is 2. Distance to D is 2. And distance between D and B is 3. So the minimum is 2, so we take it as this. Now to the node E. So the distance from the distance of this is this is E. This D of E is infinity. D of W is D of W is nothing but D is 2. Plus distance between D and E is 2 in this case, which is minimum of infinity comma 4 is 4. So we change it. Stop at this set and we get the minimum distances to all the nodes from the 